What's up guys, Digitech74 here, uh, as you guys probably know Nintendo released their new console today at midnight, uh, the Nintendo Switch, um, just went and got it from GameStop, so we're going to do a quick unboxing and take a quick look at the Amiibos and the different versions that they have for Zelda, and um, I'm very happy, I could not get the neon color ones because they were not uh, available by the time I did that, my pre-order, but at this point uh, I saw a bunch of people that were actually online they had to wait uh, for the uh, people who did the pre-orders and uh, there were a bunch of people that were able to get their uh, hands on the Nintendo Switch uh, this uh, evening I mean after midnight so you know it was good for them he paid off to to win online I guess so here we go as you guys can see, as soon as you open the box here, you can see the instructions. It's very fairly simple, basic instructions for what the system is. Uh, the great thing about this new system is that it's going to be a hybrid console. So what basically that is, is going to be, uh, you guys are going to be able to play in three different modes and that is uh, on the television like a, norm, uh, like a normal system then you're gonna have the tabletop mode where you actually share the uh, joy cons with other person and it's good when you are in uh, when you go to the park when you go to parties or anywhere that you know you don't have a television available and then the the last one and the, probably the most popular one is gonna be the one where you actually put the joy cons on it and uh, you get to play it as a handheld. As you guys can see the uh, screen is not too big, not too small, about 6.2 uh, inch diagonal. You can see the uh, rails for the Joy-Cons right over here on the sides. There it goes. the back of it the kickstand right over here and underneath the SD card on the top you can see the uh, opening for the card for the uh, actual SD card for the game there is some type of ventilation here right over here volume buttons and the power button right over here rails on the side right over here and the Joy-Con controllers you can see that it has uh, more uh, buttons on the side here that you can use the controller sideways to play other games for tabletop mode and then now we're gonna install this basically put it here on the rail and then slide it like this and then you hear click same thing for the one on the right just get it where the rail starts and slide it down like this and that's it looks really good uh, um, I want to make uh, I want to apologize so I'm talking kind of low uh, it's uh, one o'clock in the morning and everybody's sleeping and uh, I had a two-day uh, shift so it's been a long day <laughs> being up since like 5 30 in the morning more like 4 30 in the morning so but it's worth it totally worth it actually uh, doing this here so basically now to remove the uh, Joy-Con controllers it has a little button here on the back I don't know if you can see it right here and then just press it and it comes out as easy as that put it back in and it's back on so now to insert the game the game card the SD card or the proprietary Nintendo card goes facing you on the screen like this and then you pop it in 
like this you hear it click and then turn it on I mean technically it should have battery it should have the battery on and there it is so it's gonna be loading right now it's probably gonna go through a calibration process just to make sure that the controllers are fine and yes now it's asking for uh, some settings and we're gonna skip that part right now and we're gonna show the good thing about uh, Nintendo right now if you didn't get a chance to actually uh, to purchase the the switch uh, and you wanted to play the uh, Zelda game the breath of the wild they released the game for the Wii for the Wii U also so you can get it on the Wii U if you really don't want to purchase the, uh, the Nintendo Switch at the moment and you can just play it on the, the Wii U which I think is great that's what I originally wanted to do but uh, I jump on the Nintendo train on the one and end up getting this I also purchased Bomberman made by Konami this is uh, gonna be an interesting game you know especially with Konami nowadays uh, I heard a lot of people saying oh it's gonna, it's a Konami game and it's not gonna be good and this and that but you know what I'll give it a chance let's see how that is also along with all that I purchased the Amiibo um, Breath of the Wild Amiibos and here we have uh, Bokoblin Let's see if you can see it there we have the link rider and the detail on these amigos are really really nice so this is really cool we have a link archer right over there we have Zelda and the last one is the Guardian and this thing is humongous this, this is the Guardian and this is the Nintendo Switch so you can see how big this this Amiibo figure is probably one of the biggest figures I mean technically Mega Yarn Yoshi is probably one of the biggest Amiibos but this one in in terms of uh, an actual solid figure I think is one of the biggest Amiibos made so that's it at the moment uh, let's take a look at what else we have inside here this is the rest of the contents of the box we have the, uh, the HDMI cable and it's actually uh, it has a Nintendo brand so I guess that's kind of cool to have for the Nintendo, the, uh, the AC adapter it's right over here Uh, Joy-Con straps. I guess this will give you a better grip and it will, it will give you a little bit of uh, more security if, if you want to play other games. And it has the extra little bump, bumpers, little bump buttons to to play to make it more comfortable. Um, I heard many people at the store saying that they were getting the uh, the Pro controller just because it will probably give them you know there's a lot of grown-ups actually playing with the with this console so for people who has big hands I don't think that these controllers are gonna be that comfortable to play with but only time will tell after a few hours of gameplay I'll probably be, be able to, to tell and you have the Joy-Con grip over here and this, uh, this is a good alternative if you don't have the uh, the Pro Controller 
we have the instructions here and uh, finally we have the base this is where the uh, switch goes I'll put this on the side over here for now and uh, just gonna show you this there it is I know that there is a uh, compartment here you can open it and that's where the actual cable is like a little bit of a cable management here so to keep the wires and everything in order I don't know if you can see there is like a little connection that where the switch supposedly goes I don't know how how does that work when you put it in it should be pretty straightforward if you are making a smooth transition from the tablet into the TV and vice versa so uh, you have the the AC adapter here I think it's labeled I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this but um, let's see yeah AC adapter over here USB and the HDMI out so technically all we have to do is uh, slide the switch like this and that should make the connection once all the cables and everything is connected to the TV and it will also charge the Joy-Con controllers as long as uh, this is connected to the base and then it comes out and then the game just transitions into the screen so this is uh, let's see how Nintendo does with this let's see how the support uh, how the game support is and uh, how good the games are hopefully it's gonna be a good console and okay that's it guys that's all we got for today I'm gonna be doing some gameplay uh, footage uh, later of uh, in different modes just to see how the uh, the graphics and gameplay is thank you so much for watching and take care